Trying to work on the old skippy skips. I'm getting those back lashes. Might be risky going over the middle. I see the uh, boat thing right here. Go. Got him out of the back. All right. Oh no. He's going to snap that line. Baby, you got to back up. Got to back up. He's going to snap my line. That's a good one. There we go. Skipped it under that dock back there. I'm just going to try and flip him. It's probably a bad idea. That's a good oh one. God. That's a big fish right here oh on Lake Louisville. Weston. Biggest one we've ever caught out here. Nice work, Chatterbait. I thought he was going to snap that floral. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're good. That was, I mean, you I couldn't have done nothing. No, like, you were good. That was perfect. Nice little bass right out from under the, uh, yeah, look, his look at him. Mm -hmm. his Thing is torn up. Oh. You've seen, you've seen some stuff. We're going to put you in the well. We're going to try and catch some more, y'all. They're in the shade here. It's still late summer. Yes, this makes you feel good oh. right before a tournament. A little skinny, but it's a 436, everybody. So you're looking at about a four and a half pound bass right here out of the marina. So we're gonna go ahead and put that baby back. We're gonna hunt for some more just like it. Maybe even something even bigger. All right, let's make a move on. Yeah, this one's almost more tricky. That time it was the, that time it was the um, FG knot that got caught like on the eyelets instead of me messing anything up. Dang, big ol'. What up, bud? Like, if I don't really worry about the rod tip, it seems to do a little better. We can either keep doing this or we can go explore a little bit. Got him? Nice. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, we were just talking about changing up the tactics and heading somewhere else or practicing more of the skipping and the chatterbaiting. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Yeah. That was good. Was he like a little ways out here? Uh, no, he was on the other side of the east coast. Dang, nice work. Maybe that's some timber over there. We'll go over there and like graph around. I'm gonna get right up on it and you can cast all the way down. I'll cast out a little ways and you can cast right up along it where they're probably gonna be. Oh. When the fish had it? Whoa. He like pulled a 180 in the air. Uh, you're talking about like when that fish was on? Yeah. It was like wrapped around. I mean, it was not wrapped, but it was like, it, there was tension on it on the metal. It was not your f f fish. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's funny. We're talking about that previous catch. And here we go with another. Oh shoot, that one was maybe three pounds. That was a good one too. I didn't get a good hook set. Dang, we are messing up. That's a few good ones today that we've effed up. Mm, messed up our scenario there. I don't know if I could have said it again because he was really fighting. <sighs> yep. <Yeah. clears throat> well, he ain't coming back, but maybe there's another one there he just beat to the punch, so we'll see if that's the case. Oh no. Yeah, I think we're out of him. Yes. Yep. No, they're hanging out right here. Hey, will you let me see that blazing worm? Oh my gosh, the fish just hit it right here. At the boat, he came up and nudged it. New metanium feels so much smoother. Whoops. This is where you work on your aim, because it's a... Uh... Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. I don't know if it's a bass. I don't think that was a bass. He was just swimming right along it. That's funny. Takes a minute. And then you... I'm just like really soft with this cast, just in case I get the angle wrong. Oh, got it. Here we go. Oh. All right, all right. This makes perfect, but I'm about to mess up a bunch. See, the ultimate for me would be using a left-handed reel because then I could just start reeling and never have to switch hands. I'm doing a lot of switching hands. My swim bait is broken. <clears throat> Got him. Yeah, 
definitely knew there was one under there. Alright. Nice. I figured because that one was just looked too good. Alright. Fourth one on the hook of the day, but watch out for the old Skagaruski. Meddling off the docks, ladies and gents. There we go. Nice little two pounder. These fish are so dark. They're just hanging out in the shade all summer. They're living here. We're gonna let them go and search for Mo. So predictable. It's just like if there's a good spot back far, like it's just tough getting back there to them. They hear baits hitting the surface all day right here. They're like, F that, I'm staying underneath. <laughs> Oh boy. All day. It's gonna be funny on the tournament day. There's gonna be boats going down every one of them. Like you're gonna have to like be courteous and just pick the one you want. Wah. Come. Another one. That'd be number five. He's not 12 inches, I don't think, but that'd be the only one that's not a keeper. Uh huh. Uh, no, but I was right on him, so. If I get one here, I probably won't land it. There's a big wire. Oof. Oh, got him. Shade. Yeah, we, uh, we're up to about five so far today, so we're doing okay. Bass or uh, going for bass, yeah, bass. So we got one decent one, and we've had a few come off, but you know, they're hanging out right here in the thick stuff. Ah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Mm, I think it's going to be getting pretty low. You know, I'm back here, it's almost easier. It's just you don't get to hit the spots first. Oh, got it. Right where we need it. And then last second, I'm going to whip it to the right, and I'm going to hit reverse. Uh, okay. See okay. that? Yeah. But it's got to be to the right. And that was really smooth because we're going slow. Sometimes yeah. I try and do it faster, and it's like, because yeah. you kind of have to. Yeah. All right, we're back out on Lake Louisville. It's time to drop in. Water's still low as ever. It's cloudy. It's windy. And hopefully they're on the move. We brought the A-rig. We brought the spinner bait. We're going to hit them with whatever it takes. We got the jig. We got the chatter bait. The staples, okay? Nothing new out here today. We're going with the classics. Let's catch some fish. Flipping the bandito bug in the tires. Haven't caught one like that in a while. All right, let's circle back. They're gonna be they're gonna be hanging out in them. Oh gosh, that thing just came up and hit freaking top. They're active. I just wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Search and rescue. Got him, got him. There we go. I just casted the A-rig uh, right along this uh, marina dock here. Um, this is public access until you get like a little further in. So got us a little dude. We're gonna try and get some more. <laughs> we'll work our way out on that. Think, think, mark. Damn, what is that? Oh, that's just the corner, huh? Oh, there's, there's what appears to be fish down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. A rig is falling. I'm gonna go buy something here in just a second. There we go. Oh my gosh! That could be a good one, huh? Is it little? Oh! oh. Nice! Yeah, felt good. Chatterbait! Heck yeah! Care. Nice, babe! <laughs> wow! I don't even care! Dang, that was sick! Was he, it he was close? I think my it did slip. It did I slip. Was that close to the surface? Uh, I mean, yeah. Here, get back on the water. Dang. I was gonna put it on the Epic. 
Wow, I thought it like looked like it was a heavy fish on that on that rod. I don't know why. <laughs> soon as we land the drone, <laughs> she's got it. <laughs> ah, they're right where they should be. They're just not the size they should be. <laughs> oh, we have found the dinks. Literally moments after Weston landed the drone, I set the hook on this guy. And I think I took him into a whole nother universe. Uh, he came flying out of the water, skidded across the entire time. So he's back safe and sound. We have found a bite, but it's not quite the size that we are looking for. This one is about 12 pounds, but they can grow to be about 